Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rechai Kodesh. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, um, and this video is going to be entitled, Is All Happening So Fast? Okay, and, um, you know, if you've been uh, keeping up with prophecy, you know, if you've been watching the science, measuring the times diligently, all right, you'll see that, you know, over the past few days, past few weeks, you know, past few months, all right, a lot of these prophecies are, you know, have been picking up, you know, now, um, overall, you know, since maybe the ending of last year, beginning of this year, you know, they, they, of course, they were still pushing the narrative, but the, uh, the moves, all right, were more so behind the scenes, you know, and they were moving slowly but surely, but now, all right, but they're they're picking up the, the the speed, you know, and they're they're starting to move faster in the direction of prophecy. Okay, which has all been is all been written of in the scriptures, all right, to happen in the last days, which is the time that we're living in now. Okay, now you have something here from our I have a few articles here. I'm not really gonna read them, all right, but I will put the link to them in the description. All right, but just so you can get a quick uh, uh, headline of what's, you know, what's happening. Okay, so you have here uh, from RT News, foreign travelers to China can now use digital yuan central bank. All right, so as basically you can see, they have a central bank um, uh, digital yuan, all right, where you don't have to open a, a bank account, you know, and you don't have to be a native um, Chinese, you know, but you can just open a, a e uh, CNY wallet, you know, and basically make uh, payments as you need to, all right, daily or whatever the case may be, okay, and this is the, the Chinese government basically developed this, uh, this uh, digital yuan, which, you know, that's only gonna uh, 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 speed up the U.S.'s development of the digital dollar, because as you know, they're in quote-unquote competition, all right, but as the scriptures say, why do the heathen, the heathen rage, rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? Because this is, in, is only going to go as far as prophecy is going to allow it. Now, we know right now they're using mobile phones, you know, uh, phone numbers and phones as the digital, uh, you know, physical version of the digital uh, wallet or whatever it may be. But we understand very soon, all right, that according to prophecy, it's going to move from that mobile device and eventually it's going to be put into uh, the MOB, all right, which is going to be put into you, okay, so you can expect that, all right, now, next you have here, all right, this is uh, France, okay, and as you can see the headline, you know, France to require 24-hour negative test, all right, for the unjabbed, the unbitten, you know, travelers, now, they originally, um, it used to be for certain countries 48 hours, you know, and others it used to be uh, 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 72 hours, but now they've cut it down to 24 hours, meaning that if you're going to travel somewhere, you need a, a fresh negative test. All right, and notice this is all a part of them coercing people because soon they're going to make it to where it's not uh, free because the tests are free now, but soon it's not going to be free and you're going to have to pay money for it. You know, so now if you don't, if you already don't want to take it, but you have to, and now you got to pay for it, it's going to frustrate people and you're going to have people that are going to say, you know what, to hell with this, I'm just going to go get the bite and just, you know, be over with it. So you have this happening over here in France, you have the UK, you have Greece, all right, which these are all just, you know, um, starting, starting it up, you know, warm ups. Okay, as things will inten intensify. All right, but here you have Amazon. Uh, uh, well, it says Amazon, this is from ZeroHedge.com, wins appro FCC approval for radar device to monitor sleep. You know, and these devils just don't stop. The hell you need to monitor somebody's sleep for? And they always, always push the, oh, this is... um. For your help, your benefits for the disabled, for people who, um, you know, we can notice certain things about your sleeping pattern and develop things. To, no, no, no. All right. Now they want to track 
or, or monitor your sleep, okay? Which they have devices that can tell when you're asleep or not, how many people are in your house. They can actually tell how many people are in your building from your cell phone, in case you didn't know that. All right, there's technology they have where it can, it can pinpoint, all right, from the cell phone, how many, it's like it pings, all right, how many, what the rooms look like, so who's where, who's where, all right, and this is ultimately why the Lord said he's going to lift up a standard, because when they come in like a flood, it's not even going to be just only their armies and their troops, but they're going to unleash all forms of technology that they have to uh, uh, efficiently come and try to neutralize, all right, the, uh, uh, the, those that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, or I should say the Israelites, okay, which means technology that you otherwise wouldn't normally see, but they will be using that and utilizing it, you know, because they're going to go, like it says in Revelation 12 and 12, they're going to come down with great wrath. That's the time we're living in now, all right, and people don't see this devil uh, getting ready to come down with great wrath. There was a story actually of a woman who had a snake, or right, a big ass snake, and she she took it to the thing the vet or whatnot, saying that oh the snake is not eaten, you know, and she was concerned. All right, and and he basically told her, look, man, that snake does he you know what, what does he do? You know, she talking about he snake lies by her, you know, stretches itself out like her length and all of that, and the doctor said, yo, you better you better do something about that because he's sizing you up. Meaning he's he's trying to swallow your ass one day, you know, and you know how snakes move. You might be knocked out thinking, oh, uh, Sally's not going to do nothing. I fed her last night. Well, she didn't really eat it. She's trying to come for you. She might just latch on with her viper teeth onto your neck while you're knocked out and then wrap herself around you. And then it's over. Now you're getting swallowed by a snake. And that's what that's what it is, is that these people don't see that this serpent, he saw eat him has sized them up for years, okay, and now he's coiling himself up, getting ready to strike full force, all right, so here it is, they're they, they, they worried about monitoring your sleep, and you're going to have people that are going to say, no, that's perfectly fine, and what you don't notice is that little by little, as they push out these new technologies and these new rules in the name of helping, in the name of doing good for you, in the name of all this down the third, by the time you realize, you won't even be able to wipe your own ass without them knowing. All right? They're going to tell you when to sleep, when to eat, when to wake up. All right? When to be with a woman. You know? They, I mean, it's going to be a, a prison planet. And they're and you are literally handing them everything they need to do that. Okay? You people are being prepared for the slaughter and they, in order for them to achieve that, that new world order, there's going to be a lot of death. They need to eliminate a lot of people because the resistance, even right now, is through the roof. And they need a population decrease by making an example out of uh, 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 half of it, okay, so that the ones that are left can see it and in fear, conform, all right? And then from those that are conformed, you, you have their minds brainwashed and then you breed them into more better conformed slaves. That's the, the agenda is not to have people who are not against this. And if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with you, guess what? You're 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 sheep prepared for the slaughter and you're gonna be you're gonna be slaughtered. Alright? But this is all according to prophecy. Now I'm actually gonna jump up to second Ezra fifteen and one. And as it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So that's what we do. That's why, and, and I mean, how many prophecies are there? You know, that's why we're constantly repeating it over and over and over again. Because we're telling you over again what's going to happen. We're, we're speaking into your ears the words of prophecy. What has been written to take place in our lifetime. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So that's the reason we say what we say, because it's really the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai putting that those words in our mouth because we don't premeditate you know what we're going to say it's not scripted you know you may have a title you may have a topic you may have some precepts but the way you break down the precepts what specific examples you use what specific um 
events that are taking place that you tie into it, you know, what other uh, supporting precepts you add, that's off the spirit. We don't meditate on that. Okay? So it has, that's why it says, which I will put in thy mouth. So it's of the Lord. All right? But as he, as, uh, he was telling that to Ezra here, okay, amongst various other prophets, well, what else did he tell him? Um, verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And same thing to Jeremiah, you know, and various of these other prophets, all right, who had scribes, you know, which shows you that what? The Bible is the word of God, because he gave the word and told us to write it, <laughs> you know? People don't, people fail to understand that um, the scriptures is not, it's not just one way all the time. There's history, there's laws, there's customs, all right? There's prophecies, there's accounts, you know, records, all right? There's a, 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 what's the word, I'm, you know, character building, advice, you know? These are all in the scriptures. So it's not just, you know, it's inspired and it's, 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 it's really given from the Lord, you know? And it's, it's set up to have these, uh, this diversity, you know, for lack of a better word, in it, so that it can be used for the perfecting of the saints, all right? Because in order to be a good, perfect judge, you need to know both history and prophecy, but everything else in between, okay? Um, as it says, for they are faithful and true. So are these things we've been telling you, th there's only one way everything is going to go. There's only one way the world is going to go. And that's in the direction of prophecy. And there's only going to be one conclusion that at the end of the day, when all is said and done, you're going to come to. And that conclusion is that, damn, these guys were speaking the word of God, man. You can't deny it because it's going to be right in front of you. All right. Now I'm going to jump down to verse 10. As it says, behold, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter. And that's exactly what's happening because they don't see that, that they're being led to the slaughter. And as we warn them, they don't want to hear it. You're literally being led as a flock to the slaughter. It says, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that, and starting with the elect, the Lord is going to destroy this land, this modern day Egypt, and deliver us. Lord willing, we'll be of that number. Okay? Now, this is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. And as we, you know, it's a uh, familiar precept we bring out. All right, but it's prevalent because it's happening now. And you can see Job 9 and 24. You know, now it goes into um, iconoclasm, all right, but it also goes into uh, the wicked having power of the earth, which uh, the wicked we know is Esau, Edom. So whenever you see all these things that are being hap that are happening in the world, they're behind it. Because the Most High has given them the power to be able to do these things, to bring those prophecies. All right, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. All right. If not, where and who is he? And we know where, where and who he is. All right. So that's why they're able to push things like this, you know, digital wallet, which we know where it's going to go. All right. That's why they're able to, you know, push things like this and just come out with crazy ass mandates. And they have the power to just, just say, hey, this is what we're doing. Whether you like it or not, oh, well, deal with it. All right. Go burn the sea or something if you don't like it. They have the power to do that. What are we going to do? Yo, no, see, we got we to gotta gather up. We got to band up. We got to get our guns. Hey, that ain't going to do nothing, man. All right? That's, 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 you better off just, I mean, what the hell is that going to do for you? It's going to grant you an early death, if, any, if anything. All right? But we know our power doesn't lie in the physical sword. Our, our power lies in the spirit. All right, now this is the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And that's what you see going on. All right, see, them setting up these um, digital currencies, digital wallets, them racing, all right, to, to conquer space, them racing to be the, the next superpower, that's all vain. All right, it's vain. Because all of that is going to be done away with. Your new world order ain't going to even be fully accomplished all right all of that is going to be done away with when yahweh shai comes back and he's coming back speedily okay so what you're imagining as to what you're going to do and who's going to be next it's all vain all right um and lastly i have this here 
All right, which I, I was planning to bring out earlier, but Spur had to where I bring it out now. Sirach, or the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 1, it says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of, you see, so are his officers. So when they start ruling, and, 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 and now to even make sure and to fully ensure of that, they use MK Ultra on them. So to make sure, all right, that whatever the judge or the ruler or the president mandates come to pass, guess what? Them officers got to be of the same mind. Why do you think um, a couple months back they were uh, investigating the National Guard to make sure nobody had uh, sympathetic ideals with the uh, quote-unquote insurrectionists? Because they needed to make sure the officers were of the same mind, all right, as the ruler. It says, in what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein, all right? And and in this sense, with the exception of the elect, all right, these, these devils have got a grip on the minds, all right, of the average individual, whether to blind it, to persuade it, to deceive it, all right, and ultimately to destroy it, okay? That's why they're doing all these things here, all right? So that's this high time to wake up out of sleep. All right, which there's many more articles, all right, as you um, go through these news sites, okay, but now it's high time to awake out of sleep, okay, because uh, um, the devil's coming down with great wrath, man, and we are in the time of major prophecy being fulfilled. So with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.